Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So today we're going to talk about some high quality medical supplies that you might not have considered for your first aid or medical kit, but are going to probably be lifesavers in a SHTF situation. So let's check them out. All right, so all these things that you see here, we do retail at CanadianPreparedness.com. We only retail the best quality products. And the reason for that is that there are a dime a dozen websites out there who are selling people junk and they're playing on people's lack of knowledge of survival gear in order to make a quick buck. And that's not what I'm doing. Everything that I get, even though the margins aren't that great, uh, are guaranteeing that you're going to have the best gear out there if there is an emergency in the field so all the stuff we're going to talk about today is high quality that should go without saying if you've been watching this channel long enough we also of course sell the bug out roll which is perfect for first aid administration everything there is clearly visible in a very ruggedized package and this thing is big enough to hold almost any medical supply that you would want uh, there are larger maybe larger splints and bandages you know, obviously you can't fit an oxygen tank in here. Certain um, masks might not fit, things of that nature. But by and large, everything you're ever going to need in a first aid kit is going to be right here with you. I'm going to throw in a 12% off coupon code for the first aid red roll and the red pack roll that we sell, which is a bit more water resistant uh, for you. If stick around to the end of the video and I'll give you that coupon code. I'm also going to give you 10% off all the stuff that you see here. That's exclusive to people who watch this video. All right, so some of the things you see here, I'm gonna do dedicated reviews on. Uh, namely, we'll get this out of the way right away. These SGE uh, Mestral face masks, made in Italy, one of the best fitting gas masks that you can get. We sell three variations of those. I'm gonna talk more about those in a separate video. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we do carry them now. We even carry the hooded version, which is, uh, basically the same mask but it has a factory seamed hood on it which is going to even allow you for extra protection so uh, i've tested these out and they're just absolutely amazing i was turned on to them by the urban preppers video and basically everything cliff recommends i go for immediately because i know he's a very credible and reputable dude with what he does he's not in it for the money he's just in it to you know share the knowledge and share the gear so a few of the main things i want to talk about today are some of these little things right here we do sell quick clot which is a clotting agent for major wounds to stop major bleeding we offer c splints we have these uh, bandages which are silver infused so they have uh antimicrobial silver infused within the bandage that is going to pre prevent any form of infection from developing so these are a little on the pricey side it's $15 uh, I believe $14.99 to $19.99 per pad and it probably would be a good idea to have a few of them you know in your kit uh, because obviously wounds take a while to heal so I was turned on to these originally by the Mountain RN. I seen him and the Urban Prepper do a video on these. So I picked some of those up. So we're going to be retailing those at the store. Now we also sell the antimicrobial wound gel. A bit more effective than polysporin. And it's going to last about three days. No stinging, uh, no staining. It has that antimicrobial silver in there which is going to prevent infection. This may be a little bit more versatile than the bandage. But maybe a little bit messier too if you don't know exactly what you're doing. We also sell the Curad Ultrasorb wound pads. They're non-stick and they're four times more absorbent than normal gauze or bandages. So if you have a situation where you don't really want to use a clotting sponge or you don't think it's uh, required to use a clotting agent, then uh, the Ultrasorb might be what you want to go for. We also sell the Curad antiviral face masks. These are the only mask which has been proven to kill viruses. It'll actually in inactivate the virus if it was to come into contact with the mask. Unlike other masks that you wear, which are basically to prevent you from spreading the infection to others in airborne particles, these actually will protect you now they're not going to work as good as like a hooded gas mask like a 300 dollars hooded gas mask like that but if it's all you got then definitely this is worth having 
uh, absolutely an emergency preparedness kit. We sell boxes of five and we also sell three boxes of five for $13.99 Canadian. So it works out to $8.99 or $10 uh, USD for 15 masks. So it's really actually a good deal. And they take a little getting used to and wearing them. People say that they smell. And, you know, the thing is, though, if it comes down to your survival, you're really, you're really not going to be bothered too much by an annoying smell, especially if it's keeping you from, from dying. Uh, we also sell these skin staplers. I've actually had one before I've seen the Mountain RN use it, but I've seen him use one on the Urban Prepper. Actually, no, he used it on himself. And so I just want to try it for myself because he says it's actually quite painless. So just to prove to you how non-painful this is compared to uh, having to suture somebody when they're already in pain. You know, maybe you're not a professional at doing that and you're put in that situation. So you're stressed out. They're stressed out. Having to keep a steady needle in one of those situations may be challenging, especially if time is of the essence. This really is the best substitute for that as far as I can tell. So just to demonstrate, you know, how easy this is to do if there was a wound and you had to pierce it together. Now, obviously you still want to get training on how to do this, but if this is all you had and you had no training and you had a wound, which was open, and this is the best thing you had mixed with some Silvazor wound gel, then it's going to get the job done. So basically this is how it works. So that's it. So it was very, painless it wasn't entirely painless it bites a little bit but yeah it puts a staple in there and it's going to keep that wound shut it's going to be much less painful than being poked with a suture especially by somebody who is inexperienced so in order to take it out i'll have to get some pliers to take it out of there but I, it's not that hard to take out and it's not that painful to take out either. Um, this contains about 35 staples. Like I say, very easy to use. Once you take it out of the package, of course, it's not sterile. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one. But in terms of sterile and not sterile, if this is all you had and it was already open, obviously you would use it. You might just apply more of this wound gel or some polyspore and a bit more liberally on it to uh, prevent infection in the wound. Honestly, I think this is one of the most underrated things you can have in your first aid kit. So the wound gel, the antiviral face masks, um, all of the medical kits, the ultra absorb wound pad, the clotting sponge, the splints, and we're always bringing new stuff in. We have uh, a new arrangement with Medline, so we're getting a lot of their products in, high quality stuff. So we also sell these anti-static microporous coveralls which of course you can use in conjunction with your mask, your SGE gas mask, or your Curad antiviral face masks, uh, just to give you added protection from airborne particles. Uh, if you're quarantining somebody or you're in an area where you're uh, cleaning or sanitizing, or maybe you're transporting body or something like that, then you're definitely gonna want some coverage. You're gonna want gloves as well. We don't sell the gloves yet, but you can get gloves in a lot of different places. So if you don't want to use sutures, or you can use these in conjunction with sutures as well, or in conjunction with your skin staplers, uh, you can use these reinforced wound closures. We also sell these uh, live and learn first aid cards. A good thing to just have in your first aid kit if you have somebody who's inexperienced and never taken first aid training before it goes over all of the basic stuff that you would need to know so just a quick reference guide for you there there's also some larger first aid kits that we sell that you don't see here like the backcountry pre-made first aid kit so if you're going to take the lazy route we have a route for you also go check it out canadianpreparedness.com don't forget enter survival prepper for 10 percent off and i'm going to put a discount code on the screen here for the bug out rules for 12% off. Anyways, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go and use that coupon code for 10% off uh, all of these first aid items. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Canadian Prepper Out. The best way to support this YouTube channel is to support yourself by gearing up through CanadianPreparedness.com or BugOutRoll.ca premium quality gear at the best possible price using the incredibly secure and easy to use Shopify platform. We offer free shipping to the United States for orders over $200 USD. 
and free shipping to Canada over $75. So support the channel by supporting yourself.